Here's the jailbreak for the iOS 5. It supports devices iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPad, iPad Touch 4th generation, and iPod Touch 3rd generation. Okay, let's get started. First, download Red Snow for your computer, Mac or Windows. Once you've done that, plug your device into your computer, open Red Snow, and hit jailbreak. Now make sure your device is off. Once your device is completely off, you can go ahead and hit next. Okay, the next step is going to be tricky. It's DFU mode. What you're going to do is you're going to hold the power button and then hold the home button. Once the Apple symbol goes away, wait about three seconds and let go of the power button. Continue holding the home button. It's going to enter DFU mode. Now if this doesn't work the first time, you're going to have to try it again. Just follow my video and you'll be fine. I left the settings default. Just hit next. This process is going to take a while, so you can go ahead and just leave it. Okay, once it finishes, you want to hit back and then extras. And you want to boot tethered. So same thing, you want to turn off your device. Once you've turned off your device, you can enter DFU mode again. Doing it the same way, hold the power button down, then hold the home button and power button at the same time. Once the Apple symbol goes away, let go of the power button. And it, it'll enter DFU mode again. Just keep trying. It does work. Uh, it took me a few times to do it, but this is the best way to do it. Once your device reboots, you'll see the pineapple symbol. And after the pineapple symbol, you'll see your springboard. Once you're all done, you'll be on iOS 5, jailbroken with the newest firmware. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe, rate and comment. Subscribe for weekly Apple news and check back soon.